The goose hangs none too high for Robert Montgomery, for his is the misfortune to be a well-kept husband, a husband kept in more ways than one by his glamour-struck wife, Virginia Bruce. She kept him in suspense. She kept him home while she bounced around the night spot. She even kept him in $200 suits when hand-me-downs would have pleased him more. See those buttons? Mm -hmm. They're real buttonholes underneath them. Now, isn't that wonderful? What do they think of next? The one I got married to you in didn't have one. What's a husband to do when he has a job of sorts and is faced with the distressing handicap of a wife with a more lucrative one? Which career comes first? His as a builder of boats or hers as a Broadway theatrical agent? For heaven's sake, Lynn, you're not the first woman who's had to move on account of her husband's work. That's marriage. Well, for some women, maybe, if they're not able to support themselves. And if they can, they can tell their husbands to go jump in the lake, is that it? What really happened? I could be shut up at any minute. Well, I just didn't think our marriage was turning out very well, that's all. You can say that I wanted to wear the pants, if you like. But the fast-stepping story of the first hundred years is not altogether a drama of matrimonial errors. It is generously garnished with high comedy. And by the way, how does your wife wake up in the morning? Lynn, now just take it easy and relax. 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 Oh, Lynn. Please. Lynn. Oh, wait. Lynn. Lynn, relax. Lynn. Oh. Mm. oh, come on, darling. What do you have to drink? Order us two scotch and soda. We're going to dance. No, Claudia. No, no, no. Oh, what's the matter? You can't have him. Why not? Thank you. 